beyond that, it's up to you. I, with that said, I obviously vote that we stay together and go through the sewers. Tessian, you vote your plan. So I suppose where do the rest fall? Uh, <laughs> only, only our friendship is on the line here, guys. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is so not I'm the only one who's concerned with the fact that, like, he might be worried that if Thurgood puts two and two together and goes, he's here, fire there, possibly responsible slash associated slash correlation. I was thinking about that, too. So, I mean, I've certainly considered it, but the alternative is, oh, I'm supposed to have someone arrive today. Mysterious fire. There's no way of avoiding this. I don't I don't see how. Well, the, the connection the, 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 will be made regardless. But the difference is, is that you're in the building at that point and, and at his mercy. I mean, but we're going into the building one way or another. I don't. Well, yeah, but it'd be it'd be hi, we're here and there's people around you already versus, hey, we're here and you're downstairs away from fighting. I can always lie my way out of it, or at least attempt to if I'm present. Can't do that if I'm hiding in a sewer. I, I just wanted to point out something that nobody had mentioned that seemed like the no, bigger I, issue. <clears throat> no, I was, I was thinking about that, too. <sighs> I know how Crash would vote. You know how Crash would vote? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting to see how they vote. Oh, God. Oh, God. When democracy takes an entire episode. I know. It's so hard. <laughs> Civilizations will fall. <laughs> I know. I, 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 I do have serious concerns about walking in there unarmed, me personally. Um, and, and you, Tessian, I... I feel like I feel like splitting up is even more of a death sentence. I don't know. I I think we should go together. And breaking up is hard to do. Yes, it is. As long as we can confirm. I mean, if we go, all go in the sewers and we come out and we're waiting. If this is what this is what uh, Isaac and Karash are saying, um, we can tell. We can see. You know. Be present for the guards leaving, and we can make our move then. I, it's it's risky. If it doesn't work, we're screwed, and we'll have no 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 other opportunity to try um, the plan that we tried to hatch yesterday, and that is disappointing. But I don't know. I, I think it's best that we, we stay together. Crash is an idiot. This is frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to be Mike an idiot. Mike is much more clever than Crash. And I'm like, ooh, that's a... Nope, can't say... Nope, not even a thing. Crash isn't an idiot. No, he's kind of dumb. No, he's dumb. no. He's dumb on social cues. I don't think he's dumb when it comes to, like, battle planning. No. All right. Well, then why don't we just let Tessian do his thing, and then we can just do the stuff at night. Nothing stopping us from doing that. Plus, that way, if Lena has to go over the wall as a dragon, nobody's going to see her or care. Okay, but the the concern though is that Tessian's not coming out. Oh, okay. regardless. Of well, whether... that's the impression I'm getting. The concern oh. we have, Karash, is when we infiltrate at night, we will see Tessian's body <laughs> strewn across the fence. Well, then don't tell <laughs> Tessian. Tessian's like, listen, I appreciate. A concern. Trust me, I don't want to die. But there are witnesses that I've been present here. I mean, I don't think the man is just going to kill me or try to make me disappear. At least not like this. It's but, it's too him. risky for him. He's unhinged. I don't think he cares. I don't know if he, he's ever had anything come back on him. He is the law here. I'm concerned you're being too rational. In a, in a place where uh, we're dealing with a man who is irrational. Like, I, as much as I agree, I have to play this straight to some degree. I mean, I am here on behalf of, of my family to at least ostensibly 
I, I can't just run around and be caught in some sort of coup attempt. I mean, that's almost worse than death in that case. That falls back on my family more than anything else. Would you agree that a risk that we run is you go meet with Whitwer and you are taken to a place that is not anywhere near us? And when we Cause... spring the trap, uh, you're not there and maybe he's not there. That seems like that's certainly a possibility, although I don't think he ever leaves that top floor. It looked very well lived in, and it didn't look like he even left to go down to the lower floors. I don't think he's leaving anytime soon, and if he wants me around, I suspect he'll keep me close. But I will admit that it is a possibility. Then I suppose we start looking at a plan that involves... How do you communicate? It sounds like you're going in and we can't stop you. How do we make the best out of the situation then? If the four of us go through the sewer and you go in, the lone man, how do we help you? Uh, and I'm not, uh, it's not a rhetorical question to show that your plan won't work. I'm sincere. What is the next step? So it seems like I think your plan is solid. You cause a distraction, you strike when you need to, and I will simply be a witness either as his captor or as a supposed co-conspirator of his. And we'll just have to play it out. Gosh, I don't like that, Tessian. Mm. I, I know you have your you know, where you stand. I understand that, but I don't like that at all. Well, what magic uh, or tricks do you have that can give us a signal? Uh, maybe you can even signal before things have gone awry, but you're starting to, to see where the wind is blowing. Where, um, why does the wind matter? I want you to pay attention uh, to the things I say, Karash. You're going to learn a lot, I think. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, I mean, Tessian's just like, I don't know that I have an, any way of communicating with you long distance. I mean, certainly uh, some of my spells are loud, uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, if if I don't know exactly when this is happening, it only helps to support my case, the, the, the lie that's being told. If you make your move without me knowing, then... Everything plays out exactly as it's supposed to appear to. Then what I will say is this, since we, again, we're not going to change your mind. I wish we could try to get him out of his comfort zone. Try to put him out of a place of advantage as best that you can. And trust that we'll be there on the other side to help. Then Tessian's like, I can do what I can. All right. I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad. Uh. Yeah, the call for the vote was definitely intentional. Mm -hmm. um, and we got two and a half votes out of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, is that okay. it? Okay. Are we voting, or do we just roll in with this plan? I put, I cast my vote. Yeah. This is the plan, Karash, unless you have uh, another brilliant insight to share. Tessian's an adult. He can do whatever he wants. I agree. Lena, are you prepared to uh, fulfill your part of the plan? I think so. Okay, then I suppose the question is when? Uh, soon. soon. We, have to. we have to. If if Tessian's doing what he needs to do, it needs to be concurrent with his plans. And it the the letter said the morning. Is there something, uh, Chris, in this room? Uh, I mean, a map would be great, but uh, like like pieces, maybe a game board, something that we can start to like t -t 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 kind of plot this out exactly. I'm sure. You oh can yeah, confuse Karash more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you could make do with like the top of a barrel and some of the wheat and other pieces of like you know, smaller things that are in the room. So like bottle caps. Sure. Okay, this this bottle cap is Tessian, and uh -huh. this uh, this bigger bottle older... cap is Stewart. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So I could. This bigger, more handsome bottle cap. Go so, ahead. So. I'm gonna. No, no, you sorry. want a coin. Want something that's got two faces. <laughs> Damn. I, I don't want to turn into a dragon in the daytime. I, I don't think that'd be wise. I can follow him in my cat form, however, and that should be pretty discreet. But you were gonna light the. F- I can turn back and then light the fire and then oh, but that's a lot of shape shifting in one day. Hmm. Yeah, you need to light the fire and come back, and it is gonna be in the day because we're doing this in about 20 minutes. Okay, so I'll just, <laughs> yeah. I'll just the clock get is ticking. back into my regular clothes, then go light the fire, and then come... That doesn't make sense to even be in a cat form at that point. No. I'll just come back. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 Okay, yeah, never mind. Disregard that completely. Um, I'll just try to stealth that thing that I'm not good at. <laughs> Oh, to the guard tower? Yeah. Or maybe just, yeah, because I don't want to be like casually walk up and then set it on fire. It seems, <laughs> it seems bad. Well, <laughs> you can always go and see what it looks like. Maybe there's a side of the whole building like that's completely blind and nobody can see anything. You just walk over and drop some oil on it and go walk away. Yeah, you may not have to transform at all. Yeah. Yeah. The hardest part, well, you may want to transform just to get away from the building so that, well, hey, there's a cat, as opposed to, hey, there's a human be- or a, a being that, you know, can talk and set fires. So now that we're talking about it, I should go with Lena to light the fire. I can stealth, uh, and she can, if she turns into a dragon, it's small, right? Mm-hmm, so yeah. I can cloak you if I have to, like, there's alternatives. And I can get us through the sewers, guys. Uh, no, you're oh. gonna wait for us. <laughs> we're gonna meet you, oh, and then dear. we're gonna go together. No, we will never let Karash <laughs> yeah. have his own agency. So should we let Tessian try to get in first, though? Well, and that's kind of why. Try to stealth like along with him, make sure that he gets in, okay? And then no, we, we should can. do it before. Because okay. if I roll Each one, walk and watch go through the gate. That's... Yeah, the plan is goddamn sunk, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm thinking, but this is why I wanted like the wheat pieces. So like, so. Where is the guard house in terms of the gate in in relation to the uh, the sewer entrance? Well, the sewer entrance is inside the gate. The guard house is about five minutes south of the gate in the northern part of town, which is then another 15 minutes north of your current location. So it's about 15 minutes away from the sewer's entrance that you got into to get out inside the grounds last time. I think he means the sewer entrance... Like that they entered in last time. That's what I'm saying. To get that's right next to you in the center of town. Oh, okay. The guard so house is on the north side, five minutes south of the main area, about 15 minutes north of here. Okay. It's close enough that basically, you know, it, people can respond to and from the manor as necessary. So it's pretty close to the manor itself. On the north side of town, just a little west of center. You guys are almost dead center of town, with the sewer entrance nearby. I guess I'm just concerned that if we set the fire first, will they let Tessian in? No, so. I think Tessian has to go in first. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I, th- yeah. I thought I was saying. Yeah, that. yeah I know you were. Okay. Yeah, but I, I agree with you. Okay. But, like, we need to time it so that we go, because it's 15 minutes, and where is, where is, Tessian, where are you going to be to, are you just going to go to, like, the front gate, essentially, and say, like, I'm here? Yeah, I okay. mean, there's not another way in, so, yeah. So... Once Tessian's at the front gate, like how f- how far is the front gate from where we are? Sorry, uh, uh, from where we need to be to light the fire. About five minutes. Okay. So maybe less if you're actually like hustling, but you know, casual stroll. So that if we leave, if we say we leave here now, that's five minutes. That means ten minutes after he enters, the guardhouse will be burning, and then it takes us. It'll take us 15 minutes to get back, but then that's another 20 minutes through the sewers. Mm-hmm. So oh. we have to hope Tessian can survive for uh, like 40, 45 minutes or so. And it should also, be noted. Hope they don't put the fire out super quick. That's the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. If, if it's uh, if the fire doesn't doesn't take, then they you know pour water on it and then they go they go back to the, ca- the castle, <laughs> the manor, and yeah. then that like that's it. Like <laughs> they didn't yeah, do that's, anything. That's kind of why you guys need to be on the inside. And then the fire gets lit, and then you can spring. Because even if they fix it quickly, they're still not inside when that happens. Right. Like you can't so, just light the fire, wait around, go through the tunnels, then yeah. pop up. Like no, you're drawing so basi- that out so much. Basically, all of us except for Lena need to have need to go through. Yeah. Because yeah. if she's in dragon form, she can go over. Yeah. She can fly over. Yeah. 
So we all need to already be through the sewers yeah, and, and waiting. I need to get a signal from you guys to like know that, hey, you made it. So then I can set the fire and then go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess we hand you like the oil and everything. I would. <laughs> well, I mean, say, I guess I could use the oil. I would. But... I would use if you can't. If the situation looks like you can. Okay. I would use it to just really increase your odds. Okay. Um, you know, while I hand it to you, I say, are you sure you're okay with this? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm okay. I'll be fine. I can do this. All right. Tessian, just be careful. Tessian, are you prepared? Uh, Tessian's like, always. I hope you've polished that silver tongue of yours today, because you're going to need it. <laughs> What's wrong with this tongue? <laughs> That's good. Keep listening, Karash. I'm proud of you. <laughs> and then I put on my mask and I say, All right then. Now that we have a plan, it is time to go to motion. Well, hey. Karash, follow me yeah. to the sewers. Cool. Okay. Um, Tessian, I guess, will uh, kind of ask Grail. Uh, he's, uh, he's like, Grail, um, would you prefer some of my magic to protect you, or are you comfortable in your armor? I... I don't want to ask any more from you. I feel bad for not going with your plan. I, I don't feel like I deserve it. Uh, and Tessian's like, you, uh, you misunderstand. If you're to arrive and save me, it behooves both of us for you to be as protected as possible. I guess that's true. Um, in that case, I, I will accept. I am very sorry, though. I wish I could be there to help you. I just, I feel like I wouldn't be able to do my best duty. Uh, Tessian's like, you don't need to worry about it, Grail. I trust your judgment, and if you feel that you can do your best elsewhere, then that's where you need to be. Okay. Uh, and I will, because it's nice and efficient for me, I will cast a twinned uh, mage armor on both myself and her for the next eight hours. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Write that down somewhere. Tessian, do you need us to carry any of your weapons? Uh, Tessian is, uh, is just like, no, I don't think that'll be necessary. They just, uh, uh, he's like, but, uh, uh, I don't know. Gosh, where are my melt weapons? They serve in my room. Um, he's like, but, uh, you know, if you wish to, uh, at the end of the day, I've been trained not to need them, but... A crossbow and a few daggers could always be useful, so if you've got the uh, room to spare. I sure do. Karash, come over here. Hmm? Yeah? And I give him the crossbow. Or you said it's in your room, so I tell I'd him to we need to go up and get his crossbow and weapon. Okay. Any other pre-planning that needs to be done here? Uh, yeah, at some point I want to try to get a hold of Lena, uh... Mm -hmm. When the others aren't listening, I uh, don't know how that's supposed to happen. I'll um, wait till everyone's. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go up and get my weapons and stuff, so I'll I'll be away. And to be fair, you could wait until uh, we go, and it's because the three of us are going. You two can have a ch a chance to chat. Oh yeah, they yeah. have to get a head start. So mm -hmm. does anybody cool. else have any extra oil? No, I only use torches. I do okay. not have, like, lantern oil, even? Nah, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I do it. I have two flasks of oil. Can I... <clears throat> I'm going to ask if anybody has any that I can borrow, and I'll give it back if I don't use it. Uh. I do, and I'd be happy to lend it to you, considering that you gave me my uh, lantern back unscathed. Correct. Thank you. So, <laughs> yes, I'd be like, happy to lend hand. this to you. I hate how this is stupid. Yeah. And, and I, on, her, on her arm, and I'm like, oh, that's that's very kind of you, but Karash, what do you need extra oil for? I just want to be clear. Do you never know? You're right, I don't know. That's why I'm hoping you'll tell me. I'm just like, yeah, here, here's my oil. Have fun with that. <laughs> you never know what you need it for. It's very useful. It's good for... Scaring away animals. All right, do me a favor. Before you light <laughs> anything on fire, please run it by the group first. Can we do that? 
Okay. I, I thought I needed oh, some oil. She, she, he's asking for extra because oh. you definitely do. Okay. Yeah, you already I, have I the one flask. So. All right. Never mind. Good man, Karash. <clears throat> Okay. I mean, does does Lena need a second flask? Like, I can give her one and crash one. Um, I think the I'm, one will be okay, but okay. it's up to you guys. Maybe okay. the one might be fine. I I just want this fire to actually work. <laughs> so, yeah. and I'm going to describe to her what the area looks like on the inside, so that when she's flying over the walls, she can when she sees it, she'll clearly know that like that's where we are. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to f- figure out a signal. What do you, how are you guys gonna signal me that you're? I, d- I don't think out. we. We we will be out on the other side, and we'll be in this room by the time you light the fire. Because you're gonna wait. Wait! Oh god! Okay, I'm I'm confused. I thought the guardhouse was outside of the gate, like it five is. minutes it away. Is. Yep. Yeah. We're not gonna be in the guardhouse. We're gonna be on the other side of the wall. Right. In the shack where the so right. Emerged. So that's why I need a signal. No, we're just we're gonna we're gonna time it because we're gonna. We cleared out a bunch of them. There might be some, but it shouldn't take super long to clear out the remaining. Okay. The so signal to me is you wait X time after Tessian goes inside. Yes. Okay. Yes. If yeah. You you are the signal in a way. Like yeah. you're, you lighting the fire is the signal for everybody else. Yeah. So like you are sort of going to set the pace. You're going to just decide. Okay. I hope that's enough time. Boom. You have okay. a lot on you, which is awesome. <laughs> but you do. It, okay. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if Lena understands the gravity of her role in this right now. Um, She's trying to iron out the kinks. So, how also long should banned. I wait after Tessine goes in? I, I think twenty minutes. Um, because you're uh, you guys are gonna go in ahead. I think there's a way to where we can say that we've ironed out the times. I, I, well, I, I don't. I'm not the DM. I mean, is that okay with you, Chris? If we no, <laughs> <laughs> and we just say we've we've. We've ironed out the time to where we know kind of the sequence of things. I mean, my understanding is basically you guys are going to be in position when Tessian arrives at the gate. Tessian's going to go inside, presumably. He's going to be like, I'm here. I'm here for my appointment. And some point after that, you guys can just say how much how much time she's going to light the fire. And whatever happens, happens. And you guys make your move then. But what are you talking? Five minutes after? Ten minutes after? Basically, what's the gap? The only gap I care about here is how long are you waiting after Tessian goes inside for her to start it? How long will it take her to fly to where we are? I mean, it should be quick, but like a handful of minutes. Let's see. I'm trying to remember a pseudo dragon speed. We'll say um, a couple minutes, maybe less. It's not especially fast, but it's not slow either, and it's got a direct line. So I mean, I would vote ten minutes after Tessian enters. Do you guys think longer? No, I think ten is pushing it in terms of length. I, I, it's fine. Yeah, I, I mean, don't want it to be like immediate because that seems. I mean, it's all going to be fishy, but I'm hoping ten minutes is. He's not gonna walk in and immediately be executed. I hope. Mm-hmm. Ten minutes is probably in a time where it'll be like, "How could I have set that fire? Wait, where I was? Not, I was in the room." And, uh, yeah. Except yeah. I'm not there, and Lena's not there. <laughs> yeah. And we'll be trying to watch him from the guardhouse. So. And you were on the invite. Oh, not, our names yeah. were on the invite. You guys were the parties involved, yeah. so oh. that was why that was part of my original plan. But you guys I have know. decided not to. But we, we, there's no, I mean, Lena wasn't going to be able to come no matter what. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So, right. well, I mean, I mean, depending on how we did the plan, but yeah, we could always had paid somebody else to start the fire. You, the other two could have been in the guardhouse and then the three of us walked up with the invitation. But unless you guys, that is not what we're doing. No, so. no, no I'm, I'm good with this. Okay. So. As you guys collect your things, distribute things appropriately. So Lena's got the stuff she needs for her operation. Grail has, or some one of you guys has Tessian's things that you can give them to him on the inside. I have some, Crash has some. Uh, Stuart, Grail, and Karash, you guys head out first, making your way to the sewer entrance that Gothak showed you yesterday. Um, let's have Stuart and Karash make a dungeoneering check with advantage. Grail, make a dungeoneering check. Dungeoneering? Dungeon, or, uh, oh. <laughs> survival? survival? Survival, yeah, see? I was going to say. The further removed we get from that six-year fourth campaign, the less I'll be making those mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> Running both Did at I? the same time was a poor choice in that regard. Uh, you said oh. mine with disadvantage? Just regular, no advantage. Oh, just regular, okay. Well, Gosh, Chris, I, well, I should roll it again just for... I rolled a 17, I did not roll it with advantage, so let me just... Maybe I'll crit. Oh, apparently... I got a 10. Okay. Oh, a seventeen. Uh, eight, okay, eighteen. 
So 18, 17, and 10. Yep. Okay. Uh, with the added bonus of having been down here before and the fact that you still have a general idea of which direction you're going, which is north, uh, you guys make your way through the sewer. Um, for the most part, it seems like there's even fewer critters than there were yesterday. You do still see the occasional small rat, snake. There are some mushrooms that kind of seem like they might be poisonous or something that you kind of keep a wide berth of. But I'm, uh, I'm going to boast that it's because I uh, marked my territory. Okay. True, he did. Uh, the three of you make a perception check, please. I was embarrassed. While they're doing that, um, you can give me the numbers in a second. Uh, Tessian and Lena, you guys wait you know, the appropriate amount of time. 15, 20 minutes-ish is about the head start they would need. And then uh, and, uh, you have this time uh, to yourselves. Yeah, so Tessian kind of, you know, is with Lena. And he's like, are you sure about this, Lena? Is ever, Are you okay doing this. It, it is technically arson and illegal, but <laughs> more than that, are you... It's going to be potentially dangerous. Are you sure about this? Well, I'm not worried so much about myself. I'm worried about you going in there alone, but there isn't another way to do this and make sure the plan works. So I'm willing to play my part and hope it works. And uh, Tessian, he kind of, you know, puts his hands on, on, on her shoulders and he's like, listen, Lena, I need you to promise me that if things go bad, if it looks like I'm not going to get out of there, that none of us are, that you do, that you leave, I don't care how bad it is, and I want you to head to Black Harbor and find my mother. She knows that who you are and... She will take care of you, but I need to make sure that I do my duty and protect you above everything else. But I won't be there for this, so I need you to protect yourself. Does that... do you understand? I definitely look concerned. I'm not, I'm not uh, liking where this conversation is going, and I look like I want to protest, but ultimately I'm just going to swallow my words and give you a nod. And Tessie is like... Thank you. I Listen, I want this to go well, but if it doesn't, I need to know that I didn't uh, shirk my duties in the end. And I hope you can respect that. Of course. Okay. And I, that's pretty much it. So you guys start... Are you guys going to travel together until the point at which you're going to split off, or are you going to head off separately? We should probably head off separately. Oh, gosh. Or together, and I don't know. It's half a dozen one, half a dozen the other. Um, <laughs> I suppose for emotional support, we can travel together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the two of you wait to give the other group a head start and then head out of the Guild of Daily House yourself, heading north on the above street version. Um, you get to walk together for maybe 10 maybe 15 minutes tops before, again, because this is relatively close to each other, uh, you split off so as not to let the guards see that Tessian has accompaniment that suddenly splinters off and goes her own direction. But And Tessian pretty much is just like, enjoy your time on the town. I'll let you know how things go after I meet with Thorogood. So he provides a nice lie for anybody who's listening. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at that point, uh, Lena kind of slinks off a little bit to the west off the main path, and you continue heading due north. Um... Lena, go ahead and make me a stealth check. Okay. This isn't like straight stealth per se, but it's just to see if you can remain inconspicuous. Okay, it's an 18. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So despite the fact that you're pretty nervous and uh, <laughs> about a number of things, really, mm -hmm. you're like, look, this is the plan. I got to see it through. So you kind of, you walk as normally as possible and... No one really pays you any mind as you head towards the direction of the guardhouse that was pointed out to you. Um, mm -hmm. Eventually, you find yourself... There's a pretty decent-sized two-story building that looks like it has a number of rooms in it, probably bedrooms, if it matches the description of what information that you got from Tessie and Via Gary. Mm -hmm. um, the outside of it has about a six-foot-tall wall as well, but there is a gap between the house and the wall on the exterior. So at the front-facing side of the house is open to the street, 
the mm. three other walls are all surrounded by this fence. Ooh, okay. To where sidling alongside of it to you know the back or the side or however you want to do it should be pretty easy to do without being spotted. Cool. Um, and you can kind of sidle in through there if you'd like to. Yes, I will definitely do that. There are a few windows on the first floor, but you kind of like just keep your profile low mm -hmm. as part of this previous stealth check and are able to get to the back of the house to the point where now there's no longer any lines of view from the street. Nobody seems to have noticed, at least for the time being. Cool. Okay. Tessie, mm -hmm. you continue walking. You've almost reached the front gate. Uh, what are those perception checks? Um, uh, after screwing it up several times, 11. 12, 13, 11? Is that right? I got a 7. Mm -hmm. oh, seven. Ele 11, 7, and 13. Shannon got a 13. Okay. Michelle's As, very distracted. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. nervous. <laughs> she is. She is super okay. nervous. Okay. Um, as you guys are making your way through the sewer, you're doing your best to be as quick as possible without risking like slipping or anything. So you're not sprinting or anything, but you're keeping a brisk pace to make sure that you're in position when this needs to go down, since you're flying blind. Um, there's a moment where something catches your eye, Karash, and Stuart, you kind of sort of noticed this but not really it's like in your peripheral and doesn't really stand out and grill you have no clue um <laughs> crash you look around and as you're continuing to move forward you see what appears to be like these specks of goldish white light and they're intermittent it's like the dust you can see when sunlight is like beaming into a room in that space where the sunlight hits, you can see the particles kind of floating in the air. It's, it's weird because like it looks pretty, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. The area around it looks normal, but it wasn't here the last time you were here. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to, whoever's nearest me, I'm going to stop him and say, is, what's that? <laughs> Just point at it. <laughs> I thought I saw is, something, is it gra too. Grail, do you know what this is? And I'm kind of, like, edging closer. Uh, and I lean in, I kind of peer at the direction that they're looking, because I was not paying attention at all, obviously. Um, I, I don't know. Would I know what this is at all? Uh, you can make an arcana check. <gasps> okay. Ooh. Sixteen. Come on. Uh, six, which yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you wanna you wanna roll big here? Yeah, they're they're very. Pretty. Oh my god, sixteen, two nice. sixteens, <laughs> two sixteens. All, right. All right. You guys take a moment, knowing that you have at least a little bit of wiggle room here. You're not like extremely hard pressed for time, though. The talk, the clock is ticking. The talk is clicking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You have no idea what this. is is it does appear to be magical in nature this is grail and karash stewart you're like ooh, um Maybe. yeah wow it's strange like there's no source for it you look you know up above at the roof of well the would-be roof of the sewers and it's not like they're coming from something they're not like dri dripping or whatever you would call it like floating down from any particular source they just seem to be covering this entire wall on the other side of the sewers, so like you guys are on one side, there's the stream in between, there's another platform on the other side. They're covering the face of this entire wall of this stretch. It's maybe a good 50 feet long before you get to a point where it branches off. Um, I'm going to cast Mage Hand, and I'm going to like like direct it towards that kind of gathering area so like to touch it. Okay. So you conjure up this kind of like spectral hand. This is new for both you guys, but <laughs> yeah, and then you kind of like gesture. Jobs, it. I can do this. <laughs> yeah. You gesture it across, and you watch um, as the hand slowly floats towards this wall. Those like handful of gold and and silver like particles do kind of drape on both sides of it, and as it touches the wall, the wall ripples from the point at which oh. it touches. Um. <laughs> like, so it's it looks like illusory magic. Could be. 
Hmm. Is this is this uh, across the sewage from us? Yes. God damn oh, it. So the, it's it's the, not a hop, a skip, and a jump to get across. Nothing seemed to happen to the hand, right? No. Again, like okay. a, bit of, a few of those things kind of landed on it gently, and then the oh. hand touched and rippled Shit. out. I'm going to make sure my mask is secured. I'm going to say, I don't have time for this, and I jump across and touch the wall. Okay. I die immediately. I mean, it's a risk. Yeah, Thorogood's going to be like, Tessian, it's a great deal. Here's some women and some booze. And I'm going to be like, yay. And you guys are just dead in the sewer. <laughs> and flies over. She's the like, weirdest turn of events. I did the signal. <laughs> they didn't come out. I did the signal. <laughs> so um, make an acrobatics check just to make sure it's not a nat one. It's, it's not a wide gap, but weirder things have happened. Come on. Come on. Shamon. It's a 23. 23. Yeah, so you're... I flip. So he does it and does it sexily. Uh, you're able to clear the gap of the water with ease. And uh, you immediately kind of... How are you doing this? How are you touching this wall? Just I'm going to try to go... Because I saw a ripple. I'm actually going to try to go through. Okay. Um, yeah. Just with my hand at first. I'm not going to like jump through yet. Sure. Okay. Uh, your hand passes through. Okay, now I'm going to go through. I'm going to look back at the group, and then I'm going to go through. Okay. Um, I mean, this isn't the way that we you guys went before. No? No. I, do you know where not. we are? It's on the path that they were on before. This was not here before. But if you guys are trending in a northward direction, this is off to the like on the east side of the wall. So it's not like ahead of you in a direction you're going. It's on that path, but it's off to the side. I don't know if we have time for this. Uh, it's... Isaac or Stuart, whatever you are. <laughs> right. um, what do you What do you see? I'm not going over there. Not yeah. yet. What do I tell him? Okay. So you guys are just gonna wait for the time being. Yeah, because yeah. I don't. Okay. Isaac, say, cause this... There's a good chance I jump. I fall in the water anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Sewage. <laughs> Wee. Uh, Stuart, on the inside, you see the sewers. But they look cleaner, fresher. The sewers that you've become accustomed to are... Everything was wet and dirty and mildewy and looked like it had been in disrepair. On this side, they look like they are relatively untouched. And it's hard to discern why. You're not sure if it's because this is just a separate area or because, like... This illusory wall has meant people haven't come in here and mess with things. Um, it should also be noted that you don't hear anything when Grail asks you what's inside. Okay. Uh, Hello? I, so I look around and I see sewers. Mm -hmm. Do I see um, any, uh, like, is it close to an entryway or exit way or anything that I can tell? Make a perception check. Okay. Come on. No, you stupid son of a bitch. Wow. Oh! <laughs> I'm going ah. to use a use of luck. <laughs> that one? A no, but not great. Okay. That's a nature check. So. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the first one misused was... your luck badly. <laughs> I just hit submit again. So it should have just done the same roll. 11. Okay. I'm rolling with 11. Uh, as you take a moment to give the place a, a closer look, you don't see anything that looks like the staircases that have gone to and from the sewers on the two occasions that you've kind of gone in and out of these. Um, there are a myriad of other paths, sort of like the nature of the sewers to this point, that head off in a variety of different directions. You also see that those same gold and silver particles are occasionally floating down in this area. But beyond that, other than the fact that it looks different, it still appears to be the sewers. So I'm going to pull my head back out of the wall and uh, explain what I saw and but like but say there's no exit, so I don't think we can go with the unknown right now. It's nicer. Yeah. This yeah. could take us maybe to a uh, more direct area of the house or something, but I don't. We can't risk it. Is what? 
I just, I just don't understand why it's here, why it's being hidden. That's very odd. Yeah, secrets are secrets. We need to go. <laughs> I mean, that's also fair. I think we should also go. I can't help but think this would turn advantageous to us, but I just don't think we can risk it. Can We're we not, remember where this is at reasonably well? Where we are at currently? Sorry, what was it? What did you say? Can... I'm asking Chris if oh, it's po yeah. if it's reasonable for us to recall this area and where we saw this at, uh, or if we're going to get easily lost in the sewers the next time we see it. You've been on this path a couple times, and it shouldn't be that difficult. That said, you may want to mark the area in some way so you can distinguish it from the different paths oh, on this yeah, northern direction. That was my yeah. thought. Too. All right, yeah, I'll just scratch a big old mark a cord in the wall uh, haphazardly, and then let's just go. All right. On which wall? Not the other shirt. On the wall, uh, oh, on sorry. the other, away from the... Uh, where we are. Yeah, where, where, where okay. Grail and I are still standing. On, uh, on the opposite end of the sure. panty pants thing. Panty pants. The okay. Magic wall. So I'm going to hike back over. I'm going to say, as much as we can, let's double time it now. Yeah, let's scoot. Okay. Tessian, you are now... Approaching the front gate, a familiar alignment awaits you. There are two guards on the front of the gate, one on each side. Two guards on the back side of the gate, one on each side. Gary does not appear to be among them. In fact, you don't recognize any of the four. Gary, oh, no. Gary's been executed. No. I would be uh, so upset. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, would, I would be just fine. Uh, we, can, we can always make new characters. Uh, so uh, Tessian just kind of walks up. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the ship, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> ship has sailed. Sunk, and really. uh, uh, Tessie just kind of walks up and and just kind of you know readjusts his his collar uh, or his uh, you know his, his kind of little cape thingy or whatever the hell. And uh, it's just like, well, gentlemen, I'm here. Uh, don't recognize any of you, but uh, I was summoned uh, and. Uh, have you ever been to the Emerald One in the morning? Not very lively, really. <laughs> That's good. One of the guards kind of looks at you, and once again, there's one that appears to be more interested in talking to you than the other, or maybe he's just the person who handled these type of things, but he says, you must be Tessie in black then. And uh, Tessie's like, ah, that's me, yes. Yes, well, very well, come inside. Quick point so of clarification, just, just so you know. I think our plan would have been we want to be in. I'm assuming you guys are at in position now as this is okay. happening. Okay, okay. I made it out of the check. sewers. Yeah. All right. No, I know I'm not going to short shrift you because. Really <laughs> Sorry, you guys missed it. Oh, you guys thought the shiny thing. Oh well, you oh, fucked well, everything. Well, Bye, well, Tessian. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so you guys can kind of see now from the crack of the door of the shed. Cool. Tessian being invited, in motion to come inside with the guards falling in lockstep, just like as before. Two on the sides, two behind. But they seem ready to let you in without any other incident. And Lena. Yes. From your position. It's my time to shine. <laughs> it's my time to shine. <laughs> kind of peeking out from around a corner. You can just make out the front of the gate and see Tessie and make his way inside. You don't have a great line of sight there, but you can see that it's him. You know what he's wearing Aww. and whatnot. Yay. So it's enough to know that he's been let inside the building and now it is your time. And now it is my time. Okay, I'm going to dump the oil uh, kind of like on the building as much as I can. And is there grass in between the fence and the house or not really? Uh, it's mostly stone okay. as far as like the ground and the surrounding area goes. They didn't landscape this place because it's for utility. But the, mm -hmm. the building is made out of wood. Okay. So I'll just make sure I get it nice and oiled up <laughs> as much as I can. And then I'm going <laughs> to do my druid craft. Do Wait, I have to are we in the Emerald One again? I know. I was like, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, Stop innuendoing her moment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Elena. It's your time to shine. It's my time to shine. Yeah. Do I have to roll for that or do I I can just do it, I think. Uh, no, it's just a cantrip, yes. Yep, yeah, it is a cantrip, so I just... Yep. Yep. And with the oil as an accelerant, um, a decent-sized little fire starts on the side of the building. And... It's not like, but it does seem to be catching as flames lick at the different like pieces of wood and slats across the side of the building to the point where it is growing in size slowly, but it seems to be catching. 
Okay. Can I, I wonder if I can... Can I do it, like, more... No, uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me just look at this. It's one action, so I'm assuming I can't, like, do it more than once to, like, help it spread. Uh, if you wanted to take a little more time to do so, you could. Yeah, I really want to make sure it catches. Um, okay. How many times are you going to do it? Mm, probably just... I don't know, two or three more times. Really try to add more fire so that it really starts going up as much as possible. Okay. So it takes a few seconds um, to spend the additional time with the flames, but in doing so, you're kind of able to help other areas catch. It's sort of like building a campfire in the sense of, like, you get one to go, and then maybe you work on adding other elements to it to where it will grow into a more full-fledged thing. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, at this point, especially with the oil involved, there are now there's now, like, black smoke starting to come off the side of the building. You can see it rising up above the fence ah. and above the second floor. Perfect. Um, a good, like, five-by-five five swath on, like, a jagged circle is now increasingly growing on the side of the building. What would cool. you like to do? Um, I, I, I just don't want them to us. go, like, dump a bucket of water on it and then put it out immediately. <laughs> That's my biggest concern. Um, well, with the oil, they shouldn't be... I mean, not one bucket of water. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to hope it's good enough, and I'm going to turn into my dragon form and then fly off. Okay. Um, as you guys are doing so, Jason's camera froze. No! Jason! <laughs> Jesse is dead. No! I don't even know if he's still here, but that might be where we have to leave off then. It would be... A bit Dramatic. of a, a bit of a tease, but that's okay. Oh, that's so, no, that's we were, exciting. It was, was going to be yeah. right around here, anyways. Um, we'll just say I don't know what happened there. We'll figure it out afterwards. Uh, for the sake of leaving off, there oh, he no. goes. Now the whole now you can see behind the camera. Oh no! Oh god, it's all falling apart. Um, all right. As, all right. As you turn into your dragon form and start to head off, you do hear what sounds like commotion on the inside. Okay. People going, is that smoke? So it sounds like people have noticed. But they haven't seen you as you make your way towards the. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, be testing. As you make your way towards Whitworth Thoroughgood's mansion. So next time, the plan is set. Everyone Hello, is in everybody. position. I'm quite a bore. What it will lead to, we can only wait and see. So on that weird cliffhanger, we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>